Of course, this is limited to only 1,500 copies, and it is an RSD Day exclusive. And this one is going to probably fly out of the record stores like hotcakes. This is Katie with Vintage and Vinyl, back with another great video for you today. And in this video, I'm talking all about Record Store Day Black Friday. Now, the list dropped a few weeks ago, and I had a chance to look it over. And boy, oh boy, am I really excited about this list, despite some of the other videos that have come out in the VC saying that they weren't as jazzed about this particular list. I have to say, I am, and it is just fabulous. This is the most amount of records I think I've ever wanted from a RSD drop. So a total of four records are on my want list. And we're going to talk about them right now. Okay, so I don't even know what record store I'm going to yet for Record Store Day. There are a total of four in our area, which is very exciting. We have a new record store that just opened up, Tiger Records, and they have a fantastic selection of music. Small little record store on the edge of town, and I hope that maybe I can do Record Store Day there. It's the first time they'll be doing Record Store Day, and I'm really excited to support some of our local stores in the area. Now, last year I went to a new record store to me called Eraser Records and I had a fabulous experience. The line was very short. I had to wait pretty long though in line. I was there at 8 a.m. and they didn't open till noon. So you got to get in line early for the records that you want, especially if some of them are really limited. Now, of course, there is Young Loud and Snotty. I've been there in the past. They are fantastic and they just reopened, which is so exciting. However, I don't know if they're going to be doing the ticket system and I need to scope out their new location to see how easy it is to get to from my house. Now, the last record store is one that I support often. I absolutely love yesterday and today's. However, they are really hard to do record store day with because they have such a popular amount of customers that come. There is always a line that forms overnight and I really don't want to wait in a line downtown by myself at night. So I will be probably participating at one of the other record stores and then maybe make my rounds and do some fun non-record store day shopping at the other stores because you need to support your local record stores, not just on record store day, but other times of the year as well. They really could use our support. Now let's talk about some of the releases that are coming out. Now I've got four that I want. Some of them are RSD day exclusives, meaning that they're only gonna be available on that day. And some are RSD first drops. Basically those will come out. You can have an opportunity to get the first press of that record. And then at some point they will re-release it. Probably not on a color variant. Usually you'll find that they might release it on a fun color and then they do another release on standard black vinyl. So we'll see what they're doing with that. I hope to get all of them, but I really will focus my attentions on the limited release specifically for that day. Now, the first record up in the list I'm very excited about is Ray Charles Live. Now, this is his live concert from Stockholm in 1972, and it features some fantastic music on this record. It is going to be a historic listen, and I'm so excited about it. Now, there are only 2,000 of these records that are pressed, and they are an RSD first release, so I probably might have an opportunity to get another chance at it. But of course, we all want the first true press as collectors, so I will be on the hunt for this. It's coming out on the Tangerine label, and I'm not sure if it is a brown vinyl or a gold vinyl that it's on, but it's a really, really cool colored vinyl. Now, this features some fantastic tracks. It's got Alexander's Ragtime Band, of course, the classic What I Say. I I've had my fun, restless introduction, games people play, don't change on me, I can't stop loving you, Mary, and I've got a woman. Now, if you try to find the original press of what I'd say from Ray Charles, you are going to spend some serious money. I cannot find that record at all. And if you do find it online for a cheaper price, it may only be in good condition. So Ray Charles is kind of hard to find. Love his music, and I'm hoping to get that live concert because I think 
that will be a really, really fun listen. So the next album on my list I am very excited about, but it's limited to only 1,300 copies. I hope to get it, but lucky for me, it is an RSD Day first release, so if I miss it this go around, I will be able to probably pick it up in the future. And it is none other than Screamin' Jay Hawkins with My Little Shop of Horrors. Now, My Little Shop of Horrors came out originally in 1972, and it was actually titled Man and Woman. And then in 2001, they re-released it on CD and titled it My Little Shop of Horrors. Now, of course, Screamin' Jay Hawkins was known for sort of his shock music. And in 1957, he released the song I Put a Spell on You, very classic rock and roll. And of course, it was banned from all the radio stations for sexual undertones, which isn't a surprise in the 50s. But this album coming out, My Little Shop of Horrors, is going to feature that song and a few of his other 50s hits, which I'm so excited about because if you've been following some of his albums online, you know that they're not easy to find. One, he didn't produce a whole lot of albums during his career. And two, a lot of the presses that are available are reissues coming from out of the country. So the shipping is astronomical and they're just really hard to find. So I hope to get this. I don't know, it's a big stretch, but we'll see if our record store gets it. And I can't wait because this is just gonna be a really fabulous record by a classic rock and roll artist. Okay, so I've talked a lot about music icon and legend Sam Cooke here on my YouTube channel and over on Instagram because I absolutely adore him. So it's probably no surprise to all of you that I'll be picking up a Sam Cooke album for Records Tour Day Black Friday. Now this album is coming out in honor of Specialty's 75th anniversary and it will feature some of Sam Cooke's early releases on the Specialty label as well as some fabulous never before heard tracks from his 1955 Shrine concert, and it will be a three LP set with some cool bonus items. So you're going to get reproduction posters and concert memorabilia from the time, and I am so excited about this. Now, of course, it's coming out on Kraft Recordings, and I love everything Kraft does. They really do a good job with their re-releases and reissues, and they have a great sound engineer working on all of their vinyl. So love Kraft Recordings, and that is going to be a really great album. Now this is limited to only 3,400, which is a little bit more than some of the other albums, but it's still going to be pretty tough to get because this is a Record Store Day exclusive. So after Record Store Day, this album is going to be pretty non-existent unless you want to pay a pretty penny online. So I know Sam Cooke is popular. We all love Sam Cooke, so I really think that this album is not going to be an easy get, but it's high on my want list and I hope to pick it up for records to her day. Okay, so the last album that is on my one list might be a little surprise to some of my viewers because on this channel, I typically only talk about 50s and 60s music. And while I am absolutely in love with all things 50s and 60s, I have to say I do love other eras of music as well. And the Jackson 5 are a pretty incredible group. So I'm very excited that they are finally reissuing ABC on vinyl. Now, this album is a little bit of a conundrum, for me anyway, because you can get an original press for around $20 to $30 online. However, they usually are not in the best of shape, and so I really went back and forth with this record. If it's something that I wanted to go after, and I thought, you know what, why not? Because this album is coming out on a cool blue variant, which I gotta say, I love the colored vinyl. I know it might be a little gimmicky, but it's just so fun. And I'm gonna get a really good clean copy, which I may not get online, and if I do wanna pay for a really good copy, I'm probably going to spend some money. So I thought, well, why not? And of course, this is limited to only 1,500 copies, and it is an RSD Day exclusive. And this one is going to probably fly out of the record stores like hotcakes. So I don't know if I'll be able to get this record, but it is on my want list, and it's kind of fun. I have to say, the Jackson 5 has some great music, and when, of course, ABC came out, it was number one on the Billboard 
top 100. So very exciting, very cool record. And I love the fact that they're doing variants. I just love the different colors. I know that some people say colored vinyl sounds weird, but I don't think it does. And I think it just really adds to the whole fun listening experience. Now this is coming out on the Anagram label and it will be available on Record Store Day Black Friday, as well as all of these other titles. So make sure guys that you leave me a comment down below telling me what records you're hoping to get and if you're going to Record Store Day Black Friday. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed tuning in to learn a little bit about some of the records I'm hoping to pick up for Record Store Day Black Friday. And of course, I'll be catching you on Instagram before Mind Hacks video at vintage underscore and underscore vinyl. And I hope as always that you will stay in, stay safe, and bench YouTube. Bye-bye now. What?